what's good tarot tribe it's the priest and i'm back with another pick a card reading today is going to be a quick pick a card reading about what you are attracting so if you guys clicked on this video this is going to be a reading with details about what you are getting ready to attract or what you are on the verge of attracting this video was actually inspired on the fly for those of you who have been with me for a long time I am planning on returning very, very soon. I am going through a huge transformation in my life personally, and I hope to be bringing you guys something very, very, very special to me very soon. Like I'm very, very excited for this. So definitely follow me on Instagram at the tarot priest. I only have one account. So definitely be aware of the scammers out there trying to impersonate me. Lastly, if you guys are looking to be a part of this journey, the description box has a lot of information, including my Patreon link with the behind the scenes of currently what I'm planning. I'm going to be giving you guys as many quick messages as I can, just because I feel like they kind of sit within me and I really feel this urge to release them. So today, the message is about what you are getting ready to attract or what you are on the verge of attracting. We have three different decks you can choose from. Deck one, deck two and deck three and you can also check your timestamps down below if you want to jump exactly to your deck all right on the other side i will have a message for you regarding what you're attracting love and light i'll see you guys in the next video all right if you guys chose deck number one this is what you are currently attracting into your life if you guys were drawn to this deck this deck is actually very connected to creation music abundance prosperity material things okay so i'm really interested in seeing what's going to come up for you if you are here what are they currently attracting one more thank you all right so the first card out we have temperance so you could be a sagittarius you don't have to be so the first thing that you are attracting into your life right now is balance harmony unity this is also within yourself coming to terms with who you truly are authentically all right and it's taking you to have to really be at one and be at peace with yourself in acceptance of who you are outside and regardless of what other people have to say about you. So this feels like this is a reunion. This is what you are attracting right now, harmony with yourself, which is going to bring you a lot more ease. And guess what it's gonna do? It's gonna attract more harmony in your relationships and more balance within yourself and even in your relationships. Let's see actually why the temperance card is here. Thank you, transformation, yeah. And we have the seven of cups at the bottom. Okay, so you guys could be a Scorpio, you don't have to be, but we do have the death card here as well. And it's interesting because the temperance card actually comes right after the death card. So you have been attracting and going through a spiritual rebirth. You have been going through a very powerful transformation, kind of like the cocoon and the butterfly. All right, seeing yourself for who you truly are through the lens of your higher self, not through the lens of what others have to say or see you as. This is a huge transformation that you are currently go undergoing, probably one of the most important ones that you've went through thus far. This transformation is to bring you freedom and to bring you liberty. It's to give you your wings. It's to give you your hope. It's to give you hope. Okay, so this transformation is actually for the good. You will look back and be very thankful for this transformation. And I also feel like it's bringing a lot of healing uh, within yourself and how you see yourself. All right, we also have the seven of shells and we have the world card. So you have three major arcanas already on the board, which tells me that you're, again, going through a huge spiritual transformation, meaning allow yourself time, allow yourself grace, allow yourself patience, understand that it is already done. What you are asking for, what you are desiring, the fulfillment, it is already done. It is just simply time to celebrate. In fact, if you knew what was done, your energy would shift immediately because there is nothing for you to do. All you have to do is make a decision on what it is that you desire and what it is that you desire to experience. That is what I'm hearing very strongly for you. It is almost like you are attracting um, through this transformation, this opening portal 
of having whatever it is that you desire. And I know that that sounds crazy, but that's why it's important for you to know who you are, because if you knew who you were, it wouldn't sound that crazy. You actually have the power to do this. So with the world card here, it's almost like the sun is out, everything is shining, everything's working out for you. Uh, you've closed out a cycle. You will no longer have to go through what you've experienced because what you experienced gave you the tools, gave you the discernment. Now you have an eye that is awakened. Awareness. Be thankful for what you went through because without it, there would be a lack of awareness, a lack of what you have learned. It is necessary. It was necessary. Make peace with that. Accept that. Release that. And now celebrate what's forth to come with the world card here all right so we have the seven of cups which is choices ambitions not knowing not knowing uh do i want this well do i want this or yes it, it is that serious like you have to actually ask yourself do i want this or do i just want this because of this person or because of this or because of my child or because of my relationship or because of in the past do you want like it's okay to change your desires you're not gonna always want the same thing oh man spirit <laughs> oh my goodness yeah you're not always going to want the same thing that's okay you're going to expand that's what this transformation is about and all of the things that you enjoyed or may have enjoyed in the past that no longer intrigue you or stimulate you whether they're relationships people careers opportunities hobbies food it doesn't matter what it is it is because it has died with this old version of you you have went through this transformation and if you're still going through it that's just you resisting uh, uh letting it go and allowing that to come forth all right so spirit one more card for my deck one what they're manifesting seven of acorns determination stamina thank you and the four of shells so you are on there's just so many messages here for you deck one you are on a journey of discovering fulfillment what is true fulfillment it is not temporary it is not temporary see the things that maybe you enjoy enjoyed in the past were only temporarily making you happy for that day for that holiday for that moment but what spirit is saying is no there's another level of fulfillment and with the four of shells when you think of the four of cups this is the four of cups four of shells it's almost like rating a dinner a four out of a ten it's just dissatisfaction 10 out of 10 is, is fulfillment. That's what you're after right now. That is what you are truly deeply desiring in your heart. It's just to feel full, right? Not to feel like, oh, this tastes good. And then two hours later, wanting to feel good again. That's what I mean by temporary satisfaction, temporary happiness. Those things will no longer entice you. You are your soul. Look, soul searching. Your soul has to be nourished with fulfillment, with, with pleasure, with joy, okay, with celebration. So reevaluation, soul searching, it's crazy. It says reevaluation. It's just literally saying if your life feels like the four out of 10 and you're desiring it to be a 10 out of 10, make peace and allow the challenges to come that you may have to overcome in order to get to fulfillment because it is worth it is what I'm seeing. You're attracting fulfillment you you actually attracted this video you attracted this optimistic evaluation of your life you attracted this you did this you asked for this exact message your soul needs to know that there is peace on the other side that there is actually a life worth living for that is peaceful that is compassionate even in your relationships it's it's like you're 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 desiring something you've never seen before so it's kind of like uh eh is it really possible and that's why we have the optimism king of acorns okay we have the unicorn it's believing in the impossible unicorns aren't real but somehow they're everywhere think about that they're not real but somehow they're everywhere 
They're on pictures, they're on socks, they're on luggage, they're on clothing. How? Someone made it possible and brought it to life. You are here and you attracted this video so that you can believe, so that you can believe more, so that you can have a little bit more stamina to keep going, okay? That's why you are here. And what I want to tell you is that you are greater and more incredible than you can even imagine. 11, 11 on the clock, I can't make it up. You are greater and more incredible than you can even imagine. Take a look for yourself, is what Spirit is saying. Three of water, a celebration, three of cups. I can't, like, you guys, it's time to celebrate. Some of you have maybe already come to this conclusion in Revelation, so if you have, congratulations. You, you are right to celebrate. Even if you're in a place where you don't desire to be, celebrate because you're getting ready to leave. Ce celebrate because it's time. So a wedding, a graduation, or a birth announcement, the need to have more fun. Okay, so that's what Spirit is saying, is you are attracting more fun into your life if you are here, deck number one. And let me get one more card for you. What else you are attracting into your life? Thank you. So out of all the cards that came out, this is the exact card that Spirit wants you to see. Receive with love and appreciation. Gracious acceptance is a way to show love. Wow literally what i was telling you guys earlier show yourself love by accepting yourself so that acceptance of self in the very beginning with the temperance with the transformation it is breaking you free this transformation it may it may not seem like it or it may not have seemed like it but you are free you are free you are living the dream like i said on my instagram all you have to do is wake up all you have to do is wake up and see that this is the dream this is the dream. It is not for you to make happen. Only for you to accept the truth of who you are. That's why I said you are beyond what you can even imagine. And people are, you know, we're getting into this thing. We're like, oh, spiritual, spiritual. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm talking deep, deep spirituality. You have no idea. You haven't even scratched the surface of the power that you have. Because if you, if you did, your energy shift and your energy is going to shift. I do see you d realizing this within yourself with this cheetah here. You are getting ready to attract this realization within yourself. So it might be even like a, a something where you're looking in the mirror or you see yourself and then you really see yourself. I do feel like you're attracting some sort of revelation into your life as well. So if you guys chose deck number one, this is your quick reading on what the universe wanted you to know that you are attracting. All right, I'm headed to deck number two. What's good, deck number two? Let's see what you are currently on the verge of attracting. For those of you who do not know, if you were led to this deck, this is actually the sex magic deck. So you could definitely be attracting more intimacy, more pleasure in your life. All right. Uh, I'm also hearing there are different ways. There are different forms of pleasure. There's not just one or two. OK, so sex is a, a form of pleasure. Yes. However, I'm sensing that spirit. You're going to be attracting more pleasure, pleasure in other areas that you did not know were possible. OK, so there's going to be more pleasure in your life that I'm hearing. I also know that out of all decks, this one happened to be like the most bold. So I'm really curious to see if this was the majority pick. Let's see what they're attracting. All right, we have moon energy, which is Pisces. You could be a Pisces, you don't have to be. We also have Gemini energy. Wow, already two major arcanas on the board, which is insanity. So you are attracting psychic insight. That's the first thing that I'm picking up. You are attracting psychic insight and you are attracting a lifetime partner. We also have the page of pentacles, which is attracting some form of, it almost feels like a start to a union. It, it doesn't feel like a relationship right away. So for those of you who did choose this, I don't see that this is like a marriage. This is someone who is like a partner to you. Let's go ahead and see what is the moon here for? Thank you. We have the chariot cancer energy. And we also have the six of pentacles. All right. So a lot of you are also 
attracting a career opportunity is from what I'm seeing. Obviously, there's a lot of distraction here. So you guys could even be distracted by other things or the wrong things. If you guys are here is what I'm sensing the wrong forms of pleasure. I'm getting that there is another level of pleasure that you're going to be attracting, which is in your finances, in your career. You're, there's going to be more stimulation in your finances and career, in your passions, in your endeavors, in your purpose. Outside of relationships, I'm getting that you could have been mainly focused on relationships. Yeah, even outside. There's so many distractions going on. I'm just sensing if you guys chose this deck, there is a life partner for you, but it is on hold because your main focus has been relationships, intimacy with another and this is something that you're desiring and what you do desire, but I'm sensing there are other forms of pleasure, again, that you're going to be inviting into your life. And I'm also feeling very strongly you are attracting a life partner if you have not already, all right? This is gonna be someone who mirrors you exactly. It's a deep desire that you are really here to fulfill. Some, are, some of you are here to fulfill and manifest true love to inspire the people around you what are they attracting consider your foundation look at how committed you are to love look at that that's crazy it's like you are meant to have this all right so you are attracting the family the pets the lake with the house some of you the lake with the house some of you just the house some of you want to build your house from scratch have a house together buy a home together home 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 family family home home is all i keep hearing with you deck number two um compassion love it says look at how committed you are to love and that's what i was getting is like your life has been committed to love in the sense of like another person but there are other forms of receiving and giving love that I, I feel like you are attracting and that it's going to be in your purpose, in your passions, something that will never leave you, something that will always be a part of you. What else are they attracting for deck two? That's crazy. I can't make it up. I can't. I can't. True love. You're attracting it. That's why it's been here. But look at even the distractions. It's there. It's everywhere. Okay, so let's let's break this down, okay? Because it's not a coincidence that you chose the sex love deck, but then I'm like, I gotta look away just to do the reading because all this energy here, which leads me to believe that there's just a lot of distractions going on. There's a lot of focus on the wrong things, all right? And so you are meant to manifest someone who is a true love partner. You guys could both be musicians. You guys could both be artists. You can both be creators. You could both be dreamers. You both are dreamers, okay? You are meant and destined to meet this person. It is destined. You will meet them, but you have to let it go. <laughs> Meaning like, if you know and trust that you will, if you, you know, these are for the people who feel like they're still desiring to, to meet that true love. And if it's not a person, for those of you who already found, feel like you found your true love genuinely, then this would be like your true purpose and passion. All right, that's a once in a lifetime opportunity to live. So both, some of you are attracting both your passion, your partner and your purpose. Damn, three is what I'm hearing. It's like you hit the jackpot. So those of you who chose deck number two, I do feel like majority of you could have been led to this deck as a start, obviously, because it's the one that's the most standing out. And that's why I said love relationships keeps being like oh the ultimate goal but spirit keeps trying to give us a bigger message behind it it's the love and connection that you feel within yourself that you are now attracting in another person have faith trust your faith in this situation so trust this love situation whatever it may be for you you are attracting true love if you chose deck number two okay let's see anything about this person but it's been a distraction. So it's crazy because as soon as you stop focusing on it, it's going to hit you right in the face, right? Kind of like that DoorDash order. Once you take a look away, once you forget it, that you ordered it, it just shows up right at your door magically with no problems finding the place. But if you focus on it the whole time, 
It's like they stop to get gas. They have another trip. It's crazy. The more you focus on it, the more you persist it. This is about your vibration and energy. This is just basic manifestation. What are you manifesting? If they are here and they can hear me, there's a reason. Nine of wands. So definitely it has been a lot. Your relationships in general role, we also know with the red, it is the root chakra, the base chakra. This is everything foundationally, which is crazy. Thank you, Spirit, for that message, because I would not even have pieced that together. Consider your foundation. So with the red, red is your base chakra, your foundation. Every chakra then is on top of that, right? And so with this foundation of your base chakra and your root chakra, this is where all of your safety is, where your comfort is, your relationships with people. It's all about your relationships, not just partnerships, but with your family your family life, all of that. That's why some of you are searching for family, home, person. Where is my person? Is what I keep feeling for this deck. And it's like, it, they're there. However, but there's, there's more that you are learning to bloom within yourself. It's crazy because there's unicorns here. And I was saying in deck one, there is no such thing as a unicorn, but somehow they're everywhere. Somehow we draw them and we're inspired by them, but they're not real, right? So just because your person isn't here doesn't mean they're not real you really do feel this energy you're not going crazy you're really feeling it however your relationships have been a struggle with the nine of wands this is like a lot and relationships are not meant to struggle in fact karmic relationships you attract when you don't love yourself and what is the lesson there love yourself so that is basically what it comes down to. And when you love yourself, you're filled with love. Therefore, all you do is attract true love because you're vibrating so high. But these relationships were not allowing you to do that. So Spirit is saying, con consider your foundation. Look at how you're committed to love. What is love? What is that? Okay, because remember, when we keep saying a word so much, it loses its touch. What are they attracting? Eight of cups. Yeah. So your relationships, if it was a lot of work, if, if you had to make it work, look at this. This is struggle. You can see the energy yourself. Like you don't have to be an energy reader to know that this feels like struggle. But what's crazy is at the bottom of the deck, you're manifesting an ace of wands. And you can look that up. That's a start, a spark to a new passionate something. So it's like you've been dealing with this energy, push and pull and try and talk about it and da da da. That is exhausting. True love is easy. True love is I love this food so much. It's easy to eat, right? Because you love it. It's you love it. Love is not hard. See, we have to understand what is love? What is love? Honestly, this is not love struggle exhaustion forcing therapy fixing it working it now can people grow and evolve absolutely but if they're going to grow and evolve it will happen naturally with ease if it was meant to be we have gotten true love all wrong forcing it forcing it look at this energy but the energy that you're attracting is someone very delicate very kind very gentle very very like easy like you don't even notice they're there it just kind of blends perfectly like it's true love something you and i and many maybe have not even really witnessed when we think about it true love is easy it's effortless it's natural it's flowing it's not hard right doesn't that feel true Think about all the things you love. It's when we think about people, it becomes complicated. But when you love food, it's not easy. It's not hard. It's not hard to love. It's not hard to love your favorite movie. So we have to get this correct so we can start attracting true love. And I believe if you are here, you will come back. You are meant to experience true love in this lifetime for the sake. And it's not just, oh, the universe wants to see you happy of course absolutely everything is about happiness and joy but even more it's like a two in one not only do you two find each other but the world becomes inspired because now they see true love is really meant to be flowing and natural and effortless and easy not confusing 
Is it confusing to love your favorite food? <laughs> like, it's just, you know what? I'm going to stop it there. All right, look at this. Love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation because of love. Okay, you are meant to find this in your lifetime. And I'm here to tell you that. I don't know when you receive this reading. It is a timeless reading, but I will say 2022 in the 20s and the 2020s to the 2021s, but specifically 222 is the year of the lovers. And many of you had to find true love within yourself before attracting it within another person because you have been attracting what you've been this entire time. And a lot of what you've been has been a lot of hard work, forcefulness, having to figure it out. It, it's just a lot of not what you are desiring. Okay, so you are attracting a true family. You are attracting true love. You are attracting, once again, true love in everything that you do, even in your passions and your purpose. So I'm hoping that this inspires you and I'm hoping that you can really ask yourself truly what is love and start digging deep and see what spirit gives to you all right if you guys are looking for any more information on deep diving into enlightenment you can go to i'm ready to wake up.com in the meantime i'm going to move on to deck number three was good deck three if you guys chose this deck i definitely feel very strongly that you are attracting something along the lines that has to do with your true destiny your true destiny is something that I'm hearing. Deck three, what are they attracting? We have temperance again. So you guys could have been led to deck number one. You didn't have to be, but you could be a Sagittarius. Okay. What? We have Scorpio. That was in deck one too. What's good? Two different decks. That's crazy. And judgment. Oh my goodness. All right, yeah, this is a huge transformation similar to deck number one. Okay, so if you guys chose this deck, the first thing that I was actually channeling is that there is a recon reconnection that's happening with yourself, all right? Could be even with your inner child going back and just really remembering who you were before who you were told to be. That's very important. Who you were, who am I, who am I, judgment. It is your time, it is your calling. You could even be drawn to music, you could be an artist. It could be time to share your voice, share your talent, share your gifts. You could be a writer, you could think about when you were a child. Okay, this isn't about now. This is about when you were innocently being led by your intuition when there was no language when there was no comprehension and you were still able to exist were you writing poetry were you doing spoken word were you doing plays were you dressing up were you building tents get back to that place because there is something there for you there is there are answers in your childhood that are going to give you this remembrance of who you are it's judgment in fact you attracted this video your soul wanted to know something about your purpose and something about this death that you are undergoing. And that is because who you were was not who you truly are. And in order to find yourself and re reconcile with this version of who you truly are, you have to die to what you are not. You have to let go of what you are not. So that is what's happening. And this is what you are attracting is your calling and your purpose. But guess what? It's a beautiful life. It's way better than you've ever even experienced. One day in this new life is going to be like the feeling of 10 years in your old life, 10 months in your old life. Okay, time does not even exist in this platform here. So let's just see what else you're attracting here. Clarify because we all have major arcanas. Every single card is a major arcana. And just similar to deck number one, death comes right before the reconciliation. So you have you have to go through the ego death, meaning who you are not, all right? Your job does not define you. Your role in your family doesn't define you. Your occupation doesn't define you. Your gender doesn't define you. Your orientation doesn't define you. <laughs> There's so many things, none of it defines you. So when you rip off all of that, what is left? You, spirit is trying to literally reintroduce you back to yourself. Okay, so we got to get clarifiers on all of these because they're major arcana. So what death are they going through? Okay, wow, you have another major arcana. 
now four for four. This is a huge transformation. Literally, my gut is on fire down here. Okay, the devil. We have Capricorn energy. We have Scorpio energy. We have Sagittarius energy. All right, so you are letting go of things that you thought you needed. The food that you thought you needed, wow, you guys are going through a huge transformation, huge. The food, the people, the money that you thought you needed because the job and the time isn't worth it. Whatever it is, it's not worth it. That's what Spirit is saying to you right now. Whatever it is, it is not worth it. The devil, whatever it is that you're holding on to that you're getting temporary satisfaction from, I talked about this in deck one, okay? I definitely think you should watch that one as well. Temporary satisfaction versus fulfillment. Your fulfillment you're gonna find when you find your true self, when you, re when you reunite with yourself, your true self again, and your purpose, okay? Clarify why the temperance is here. Okay, what reconcile are you going through? Ace of Cups. So there's two things that are going on here emotionally. What you are attracting is better emotional connections. All right, that was something I was seeing too. And look at this, the sun. Can't make it up. Some of you guys could be pregnant. Some of you guys could be pregnant with a, an actual child or a project, an idea, something that you really want to birth and bring into the world here. Now, once again, we have another major arcana. Like, it's crazy how many of these came out for you. The sun is the most brightest, happiest card in the deck. You're attracting joy. You are, you don't even, if I could, if joy was a meal, you haven't even had the appetizer. Like, you're still waiting for it. It's still coming to the table. That's how much you still have not tasted euphoria or joy. There's, it's, it's like, it's so much more. It, it's hard to explain. It's indescribable. It's overwhelming how much joy there is still left for you to experience. All right. Um, when I see this card, it's like, there is also something coming in too, a relationship, but this joy is like, you have to understand you're the joy generator because when you allow someone else to be that for you, you become dependent on it, which is where the devil is here. Dependency. You have to understand that the joy is stimulated through you not through characters around you, not through your job, not through your family. Now, do they help express this happiness? Yes, but they cannot make you happy. Because if someone is sad, you can try to make them happy, but if they choose to feel that, which is totally fine, we are meant to feel emotions, okay? We're meant to feel it all. You cannot make them. So with that being said, no one can make you happy. You first have to feel that spark inside and then imagine when you have that spark and then it's doubled with two other people because I feel like you're getting ready to attract your tribe. It's like it's like overwhelmingly you're crying. You're, you're having so much fun with these people that you're crying tears of joy. Just how is it possible? I am so glad I met you. And it's amazing. You are on this brink of attracting a lot of beautiful things in your life. Okay, and it might be hard to see because the death, it feels like everything might be dark and it's, he's in there with the cloak about to cut, you know, he's cutting stuff up. But what I'm seeing the death is over what doesn't belong. We have the money, we have the food, we have maybe guilt with being a parent or guilt with being a sibling or guilt of having to take care of someone. That is all codependency. We all even these little cats, even the baby inside are connected to source. You, it's not your responsibility to connect anyone to source. And when you understand that you can relieve yourself, you can have some relief in knowing that everything is out of, like it's not meant for you to control. It's okay, you don't have to control it because something else is in control and guess what? That something else is on your side. There's a deeper connection you are attracting with God, with spirit, source, universe. And when you understand this connection, you understand that you are being led to everything you desire. Spirit is on your side, not against you. So with the death, yeah, when you're in that death, but it's crazy because it starts with death, but look how it ends. It's telling a story even right here. Starts with death, but look how it ends with the sun. You're attracting happiness. You're attracting a uh, soul tribe. You're attracting friendships. 
You're letting go of guilt. That's something that was really big, letting go of guilt. All right, spirit would never want you to feel guilty for doing what makes you happy or doing what you love or feel joyful. So what else are they attracting? Deck three, three of fire, abundance. Abundance is what it says. Things look very good. Have patience at this time, make long-term plans. So instead of figuring out how the money's gonna come, when the money's gonna come, how these things are gonna work out, have you thought about any vacations you wanna take? Have you imagined any vacations you wanna take with this new abundance? Again, just like I said with deck number one, if you knew, you would be celebrating. Do you wanna to go to Thailand? All right, where do you wanna go? Imagine it and then you will have it. It's very simple. But some of you haven't been imagining it because you've been stuck on figuring out how to do it. And it's not for you to figure out how to do because it's already figured out. That's where that trust comes in. And when you realize that, once again, you will be at peace. I feel a lot of peace coming into your life, a lot of relief. It's not in your control, thank God, right? It's not in anyone's control to make sure the sun comes up every day because whoever's job that would be, I don't even know who we could trust to make sure every day the sun came up. Do you know anybody you could trust? Because I... So at the end of the day, we must trust that something is here that is guiding us with light, literally. Nine of air, expecting the worst, right? That's because you're in this death mode or you're going through this death mode in your life. But look at the outcome. So you attracted this video, idealistically, for me to give you hope and encouragement to let you know that, yes, it is very temporary. And actually, it goes by fairly quickly if you're just allowing the severing to happen and understand that anything that doesn't make you feel good does not belong in your vibrational field. So self-fulfilling prophecies is that you're taking your own power, expecting the worst and actually manifesting it along with sleepless nights because you think you have to make this happen. But if you knew who you were and what you were connected with, judgment, because out of every single card in this entire tarot deck and out of every deck you could have chose and the fact that you have judgment is literally if God was knocking on your door, judgment, like sending you a message, like, yo, it's time, <laughs> like right now it's time. But you have to trust something greater than yourself. If you don't, you will have a lot of sleepless nights because you'll be thinking that you're doing this on your own. And anyone who's thinking that is gonna go mad crazy. And then lastly, you're using your power, subconsciously creating self-fulfilling prophecies. So you're, you have this power, you don't know how to use it, and you're just blasting it off everywhere. And you're not understanding why you're getting certain things. And so there's more for you to learn. Slow down, allow this connection to come in, and allow yourself to be taught and guided. And if you are looking for other content to really wake up, like really wake up, you can visit I'mReadyToWakeUp.com. And I, I have a ton of content on there that talks about the truth. And some of this you're not going to find on YouTube because it's the truth is so like heavy it has to be taken in doses so if you guys are here i'm hoping that you were able to get some type of inspiration some type of clarity for what it is that you are attracting and to allow this to come into your life because you deserve it in the meantime i will see you all in my next pick a card reading wishing you all well love and light